Hold on, let Ray get into position okay. first. Ray, get into position. Oh, well, he's a fucking linebacker. <laughs> maybe, we'll, maybe we'll use the uh, hammer. Two hundred pounds versus a guy that's like a buck sixty. Who's gonna win? I just say it's positioning. I just say it's positioning. <laughs> We're trying to make sure that the step yeah, doesn't interfere with the batteries. Thank you, Ray. I need some commentary. Yeah, the one bolt that you want to actually film, I'm screwing it up royally. It's okay, it's only more footage for Theron to go through. Okay. Okay. All right, Ray, any final wrap up words? Thank God they're in. How would you say that out of 10? What, for suckage, 10. There we go, folks, we have uh, batteries in now. We did the thing. Time for batteries number three and four. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so second battery, just getting tightened up. Theron, Theron's gonna have fun watching this. Whatever happens out of town, Stays out of town. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Two lonely guys helping each other out. Nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, I still think Edison should have a, a what is it? Only fans. Yes. <laughs> Just with plus a truck horn. Oh, baby. Get you home. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta go up just a touch. Oh, okay, jack it up. Okay. Jack. jack it up and jack it up. Okay, I'm clear of the ram. I'm clear. Okay, well, send her on in. On. Just go down there. Yeah. You're always just a pick. Come down? Come yes. down. Just hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we are. Come All on. Right. All right. Get the fuck All out tension of off. Yeah. See you later. Do my professional videographer now. You work fast. I had literally enough time to grab the backhoe and grab a couple things uh, off the ground and you already had that battery in. I literally had 30 seconds. It took you 30 seconds to put that battery in. Hey, before I six things <laughs> off the ground to come give you a hand. Uh, do you want to give a debrief before the battery does? These guys got the batteries in wicked quick. End of debrief. No, actual debrief here. Sorry, Theron. That was probably a. This is going to be a nut. This is going to be a pain to edit this, so I apologize there, Theron. <laughs> uh, debrief, though. Batteries to end the day. Oh, I'm losing my track. It's too hot. Not it if you want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's hot. It's like 35 degrees out. The batteries are in, though. The passenger side batteries in. The driver side batteries are in. Now our electrification experts will be able to connect the batteries to the BMS system underneath the cab, and we are rocking and rolling this Saturday, and it's it's going well. I think it's pretty well going well. This was the last major mechanical thing to go on. I mean, some hood panels, the doors, all relatively minor things. Now it's up to the experts to do what they do best. We did it. One of those things we get asked is how are we going to meet production of this truck? How do we go from a one-off build to something we can actually produce five, six, ten, a hundred of? And part of that plan is we need to get what we've done on this truck into 3D models on various different things, J brackets, battery mounts, those things, so that we can send that little AutoCAD drawing off to a fa local fabricator. He can make us those parts, send us those parts, and all we have to do is just bolt it on. That's how you speed up production, and that's how you stay consistent in production. So Justin here is here to help us out with that. Yeah, so my name's Justin. I work with three-dimensional scanning and manufacturing. So what we're doing today is we are scanning the truck. That way 
we can take that scan data, convert it into a CAD file format, and then from there we can do quality control to make sure everything's the same, make any tweaks, material changes, design changes, whatever it may be. You know, we can do that after scanning it with this. Isn't that cool? So basically what this fancy lasery thing does is it's going to take everything. Uh, Justin's going to then put it into a 3D model. He's going to blow that out, put it into an AutoCAD drafting from what he's got on there. We're going to be able to do things like stress testing components, uh, drafting up those components, getting some mechanical engineers to have a look at those components, see where we can make a few tw uh, tweaks, a few changes, a few improvements. And then we can have a consistent part number for every bracket that we can just manufacture, say, for battery mounts or front bumper, tow pin, whatever it is we need. It'll be drafted up and we'll be able to manufacture consistently in the future. So how cool is that? And big thanks to Justin. He's uh, here locally out of Kelowna. So that's awesome. My name is Justin, J-E-S-T-I-N. My business is three-dimensional scanning and manufacturing. And we specialize in CAD design, 3D scanning, 3D printing, quality control, and all that good stuff. I have to thank everyone for the donations, beers for the boys, coffee for the crew, support our YouTube, all that helps fund us. We bought a whole round of burgers for everybody. We got ice for the beers, keep the beers cold. Thank you all, your support is so welcomed.